Love as my dudes, it's Mac. I'm back. I'm here to remind everybody to get hydrated, stay hydrated, be hydrated. Hydration is life, as everybody knows. Okay, now what we have, what I have, I should say, it's just me, me and the dogs, but the dogs aren't gonna do much cooking, like, is uh, sandwich sheets. Now, I just have basic, available, literally, uh, literally every supermarket that sells more than just your basic, you know, meat and three veg. Uh, yakinori for sushi, also known as dried seaweed. You love my shirt? Thanks, man. I like my shirt too, that's why I'm wearing it. I think my mum got it for me. That's how cool I am. Mum still buys me shirts. Never grow up, kids. Any case, yakinori for sushi. Hold that so my light doesn't reflect on it so everybody can actually read it. Yakinori for sushi, dried seaweed in squares. So we're gonna get a good, good serving of rice. Now I've cooked up plenty of rice tonight. And you want this to be nice and kind of fluffy. Um, so it's not solid, um, it's all steamed and everything like that. Uh, so we're going to start by just kind of spreading some of our rice onto a yakinori. Now the good thing here is that the moisture from the rice will actually make the yakinori, the dried seaweed, slightly more pliable, right? So slightly more movable, slightly more rollable. We're just going to top and tail the said carrot. I'm going to cut it in half so it's much easier to work with, right down the middle. Okay, small pieces. And we're doing this because in the sushi is just carrot strips. Now carrot strips, real simple. Obviously I've washed my hands before everybody gets up on me on that. Uh, and that's gonna go ahead and lay in here. Nice and basic, anybody can do that. And just go down, because we wanna waste as little of anything as we can. And we curve around with that edge. Um, and what we're left with is the rest of the bell pepper, the rest of the uh, capsicum. This part of the capsicum with absolutely no seeds because we don't like fucking seeds. Now this is only how I'm doing my sushi. You can do, you can fill it with whatever you want. So we got uh, just, just thin julienne style strips of capsicum. Now, again, you can put whatever you like in. I know I'm just gonna do this to uniform it just a touch just so that it fits in a bit nicer. And when we layer that in next to our carrot, um, so that anybody can... Now, here's a good tip about cucumber. The middle, right, the middle part of the cucumber is seeds and water. Absolutely zero nutritional value, zero taste, just makes everything soggy. So, one really good tip, if you're gonna, if you're gonna put it in there, uh, you cut it up into your strips, okay? Like so, so you'll have your little kind of triangular, sort of long triangle. We're going to go ahead and cut out the bit in the middle. Now the seeds, the watery part of it, 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 there's nothing to it. There's no reason to have that, basically. And what we have is a couple of um, bits of cucumber with no, none of that shit, okay? And that's going to go in there like that. Is, and this is in like a teriyaki style, uh, sorry, an oil, <laughs> teriyaki. Is the wrong word. Um, it's just in, a, in, a, in like an oil. So we're just going to uh, put some of this on. We're just going to kind of spread that along our uh, sushi. So that is the central basis uh, of of sushi. So we're just going to go ahead and show that. We're going to roll this sucker up, and it's going to spill, but that's not a problem. This is where it's important to have the bamboo mat. There's this right here, this is the absolute clutch point of making it a sushi. So we're going to roll it and then we're going to squeeze it here. And what squeezing it here does is makes it a nice tight sushi roll. Because nobody wants a loose roll. Mm -mm. Peel one side of your bamboo mat out like this. So this should now be loose. And you keep rolling. Squeeze it in again. Keep rolling. Squeeze it in again. We do this because we want, again, we want it tight. Squeeze, roll, squeeze, roll, until, until my dudes, you get to a point where you can peel this back and we have one beautiful, and I mean you could present this to a Japanese chef and they would be absolutely happy. If you were to order sushi for lunch 
at, at, a, at a restaurant even, or like a, um, like a bakery or wherever made sushi, you'd probably get six to eight. Now six to eight isn't that much at all. Really? It's not that much. I've always kind of been, had a problem with that. I've always kind of thought, well, that's really not enough at all because you know, I'm hungrier than eight pieces of sushi. But I don't want to buy two, because they're like $8, and it gets expensive. So I always thought, why isn't sushi, why don't they just give you a couple more? Well, the answer is pretty simple, because they will usually give you about that much. They'll usually give you one roll. What I thought might be fun, is if we try and do an extra large sushi. Not one sushi roll, not one yakinori, but multiple. Now how that's going to work, I don't know. But we're going to give it a crack, and see what happens. So let's make a bigger sushi. Now how are we going to do that? Great question, glad you asked. I'm still not sure, but we're gonna go ahead and try it anyway. So then, we're gonna make this longer than average. Uh, and that will, you know, in theory, give me a thicker roll. So here we have our four bits of yakinori. We're then going to get this rice, we're gonna mash it all so that it's all fluffy and delicious rice. But in this particular case, we're gonna go get it on like so, and this will be, you know, bigger than average, basically. <laughs> Approximately four times bigger than average. You know what we can do? We'll drop a quick egg to go on this, actually. We're gonna do the exact same thing here. We're just gonna prep our pan. There's a bit of that good stuff there. You can actually smell it. Just burn that off. And what we're left with is actually a very tasty, uh, you know, leftover effectively. And we go whoop, with our egg. Flip it around. And flip it over onto itself. A bit like that. And we flip it all the way over. We're just giving that a quick fry up. And that is gonna go roughly into probably the middle of that right there. We're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna start with some carrot. Probably a couple of pieces more, because this is gonna be a larger than average piece of sushi. So we've got a couple bits. Um, but if it does happen to catch some seeds, they're just, well, that's actually rice. <laughs> Thought over seeds. They weren't. <laughs> it's pieces of rice. That's cool. Uh, we're gonna get a couple bits of ginger. We're just gonna perk the ginger up a little bit so I can grab some pieces. Just gonna put that on next to, oops, next to the capsicum. That's what's gonna happen here. Next to the capsicum, get a couple bits of our tuna. It's gonna go right there. Get some pieces of our shinkin. <clears throat> A couple bits of chicken in there. Alright. Tender piece of salmon in there as well. Fill up that end. <clears throat> Fill up that end right there. And then, by next week, I'll see you then. No. <laughs> now, of course, <clears throat> we get our legendary Keep Your Mayonnaise. Because what is this fucking legendary? Put that over just everything, really. Do it like that. Give it a little helping. Now, you don't need to be huge on a cupid because it's a, it's a good taste and it, it really, it really works. <laughs> this is an absurdly large sushi. We're gonna have to start it like this as per usual. I don't think that the bamboo mat's gonna be all that helpful the whole way, right? So, we're still going. Still going. Okay. Okay. All right. Oh, it's working. Oh, you'll have to see it. Actually could have done it with probably just the two. But, <laughs> that's okay. 
as we'll make it a bit of a tighter roll by having the extra seaweed because otherwise actually it wouldn't have been long enough. It would have been just short if only having two. That's cool. With that water, just dab it on this bit so that this bit sticks. This was one of our joins, the last, the last join. So if this one sticks, we are g -g 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 golden boy. Even if it falls apart, it is still tasty. But considering once again the first bite is with the eye, it is important to me, especially that it stays together. One mega sushi. Because regular just doesn't fucking cut it. Not around here anyway. It's kind of heavy, yeah. <laughs> it's heavier than usual. You know what? I don't think my regular knife's gonna cut it. It's just, it just seems, it seems too big of a moment. I don't know if I can cut it with this knife. Luckily I came prepared. Because only last week came my brand new, my brand new, Big ass, dull strong carving knife. And, uh, you know, it could be said that it's, it's, uh, quite large. Could be said that it's quite large. It's basically a sword. Um, so, yeah. If anybody ever is stuck for what to buy me for a gift, uh, some more of these. Not necessarily this one, but some more of these. Now this fits my entire aesthetic, of course. It's light, it's strong, it's sharp. That's important. Right here. Because what we're going to do, we're going to trim up this sushi boy. And straight through like fucking butter. Same spot. The other tip to keeping it, with keeping it tight, is it will cut a lot easier. Like, so much easier. And what do we have? But a perfect sushi roll, just four times the size as regular. <laughs> that's what, that's what does it there, the comparison, I think. Give it a try. Cheers, my dudes. Cheers. It's so, it's so hard. Is some uh, very large, big sushi. But <laughs> it's just <laughs> that's bigger than average. All right, that's bigger than average. If you're making it like that, you don't probably need more than one roll. But that right there. That is a meal of sushi. My dudes, before I leave you this evening, I'm gonna leave you three good bits of advice to follow your life by the three commandments of this channel, and they're as follows. Number one, stay hydrated, my dudes. I can not stress this enough. You're gonna be hydrated. If you're not hydrated, you're doing it incorrectly. Get hydrated, hydration is life. You're gonna be alive. Number two, don't work too hard. Unless of course you're working for yourself, in which case, work as hard as you damn well please. And number three, take nothing too seriously, my dudes, you get but one life. If you don't get out alive, take nothing too seriously, it isn't worth your damn time. Until I'm back here to give you the hype and tell you to hydrate until such time as you see me here on uh, Monday night, my dudes! Bye for now.